what was it about Jordan that rubbed you the wrong <clears throat> way? Uh, you know, I think there was just uh, the obvious uh, <laughs> to, to start. You want to talk um, about obvious, I'll tell you what's not so obvious is your relationship with Tia and why you want to talk about my dating history on the show, but I couldn't elaborate on yours. You can't say that though, because you were a hypocrite. You said David needs to keep my name out of his Wait, mind. I was a hypocrite? You ran around the first Wait, two with my name and yours. Wait, hold on a second. Did you just see the last episode of The Bachelorette? Did you not just see that? You're going to call me a hypocrite? Oh yeah, things are, group date, group date. Things are over with Tia. I'm really glad we got that behind us. Let's fast forward. Uh, you're leaving practically on Tia's terms. If you told her you were done with her, why would she come back for you? You can't control her. Do, do, do you want me to answer her you're question? Me. Yeah. Okay, it's not, it's not a question for you. Yo, if Tia was sitting up here, you could ask Tia those questions I, all the time. Well, That's I not for that me to answer. That's not my in the future, question. Maybe I'll get that chance. But all three of us got on the same page. All three of us moved on. And more importantly, Becca and I moved on. Exactly. And that's the end of story. It didn't seem that way, though. Okay, then I don't want to hear you complain about David when you're bringing, uh, keep whoa, egging whoa, this whoa, up whoa, on, hold with on me. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. That and I'm never bringing up David on anything. Okay, I, I you're gonna say that. keep. You're so, gonna say David, keep so my name out of your mouth, that. but you're gonna keep my name in your mouth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, obviously my name was in you're your mouth. Quite a a just like it called yeah. you on the episode, okay. Jordan. I mean, you're you're a modern day narcissist. You fell in love with yourself sure. a long time ago. This house moved around me. I'm the mouse. They're the elephant. They're constantly gonna be questioning me for the next ten years. How did this guy even exist? <laughs> I've got billboards up in all their minds. We're paving highways. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. All right? I should have wore a work vest here. Personally, I should have wore a work vest. Out of my mind, baby. All right. All right. Oh. Send it back to you. Um, no, you know, I'm, I'm a little confused as to why I, I kept being called a clown whenever, you know, if, if you have fun while you're dating, sometimes, you know, you're gonna put a little extra wax on the hood and slide across and go get your girl, you know? You have fun. These guys couldn't stand having fun, it seemed, in the, like, you know, in the beginning or later on. We're gonna talk about someone who's gonna walk around the house saying he's a gentleman and then shows up to a cocktail party in golden underwear. I mean, you tell me. I mean, I mean what? people, people like hated have, that, honestly. Like I'm not gonna lie. Date. People hated that, yeah. go, that you wore golden underpants, sure. but Becca gave him a rose. Who cares? So, Colton, is that what drove you crazy a little bit? Was the fact that it was working, or <laughs> did it just. <laughs> exactly. No, it, it wasn't that. It was just, I felt like she wanted somebody who was gonna take this serious, and she I wanted was a sweetheart to her at all times. I was I'm not sweetheart. saying you weren't a sweetheart, Jordan. I was just saying in. you're not gonna get married in golden underwear. Maybe you might have proposed in golden underwear. I don't know. I'll jump but, in. Are you gonna fall in or jump in, David? Let's go. <laughs> no, look, I, I think, that, and I'll, I'll kind of, you know, echo, you know, what Colton said. Of course, you're gonna echo it. There's, sure. there's, you don't have a voice. You don't have a voice. <laughs> you, of course, serious. echo, echo, echo. So, Seriously, let's go. Think about the seriousness of the entire thing, right? Sure. I think we in the house, and me especially, we didn't necessarily see the things that you were doing as being serious about the entire process. <laughs> but what, and, what got uh, under your skin so much about Jordan? It was just treating the I process. Jock, he's he's really me. Good I don't have to put on a facade. I don't have to come on the stage and wear fancy, shiny black suits or anything and talk about how the obvious is what it is. I'm me. I'm unapologetically me, and I'm always going to be me. I don't have a fear of being me because if I walked around as a hologram of a man or as a skeleton of a man, where's that going to get me? It's certainly not going to brand me. Come on. <laughs> I think it was like oh, this is what we're talking about. David, really on the two-on-one, you told Becca that. Jordan would essentially be settling if he ended up with her. Yeah, uh, you know, look, I wear... When was I ever having a conversation with David? When did I ever say I was settling for Becca? That's the worst thing you say about a relationship with a woman is that you're settling. I've never said that in my life about anybody. But, this, this is what we were dealing with the entire time. But look, I'm a very, very honest person where my feelings on my sleeve and I wasn't scared to share those feelings. Am I regretful? Absolutely. David. David, after watching the show, I thought you were there for Jordan, not Becca, because his you name came out of your mouth. Exactly. You can't play it back and say you were there for Becca. You can't play it back. Look, I will. That's it. Who do you, who do you really love? Yeah, who do you really love? So, you know, look, looking, looking back on it, I wish that I had absolutely put my energy towards my relationship with Becca. Like, I shouldn't have necessarily sat there and talked about Jordan. It's not that hard to yeah. no, it's it's Becca. What? It seemed like every conversation you had with Becca, it wasn't, the though. first name that came out of your mouth was Jordan. It honestly wasn't. And, um, again, I, I don't need to sit here and bicker about it. The only problem I have is that I felt like Jordan never attacked you, David. I felt like, David, you were kind of a bully, consistent consistently poking at Jordan, Jordan yeah. was defending yeah. himself. You didn't poke at anyone else. I feel like you were praying, no, I don't want to say the weak, but someone who was a target. No, I took and it too far for sure. not cool. I absolutely took it for too far. There's no doubt about it. In hindsight, you know, it's always 2020. Took it too far. No doubt about it. I respect and that. You know, you know what, David? I respect you. Why? Because, like Camille say, I lost to a yeah, Excuse me, yeah, sir, what's your name? I lost yeah, to yeah. Yeah. yeah, who is One of the guy? guys that got eliminated night one. Exactly. Hello. Yeah. So you also lost to somebody wearing golden underwear. Yeah, look, you know, I mean, you, got, you also you got lost Jordan, to someone that was got, talking to someone Jordan who thought that he was going to be the bachelorette. Like we can go on about model. this gold underwear dude, all day. Becca, I have a real job. I'm a 
I'm a premier banker. I have a real job. What's going on? No are, are you still no talking to me right now? What's going on right now? I do that as a hobby. Wait, what are you your talking about? Your job is his hobby, is what he's saying. <laughs> he's he's talking about. You put it to the back. Model off. Model off. You're talking to me. Yeah. Yeah. This is your moment, right? This is your moment, right? Come down here. That's my moment. You're sitting across from me, right? You're sitting across from me. You see what's going on here? You're across from me, so you're going to need some camera time. Chris Harrison, camera time. Get this guy. Get this guy some camera time. No, it's you're a joke. Yeah. You're a joke. Yeah. Take some notes, Charlie. Talk to you later. Take some jokes. Yeah. High water is really. really? <laughs> high water. <is> <laughs> what? What's you wearing those? I mean, you wearing? High water. Exactly. We got two other guys wearing. Yeah, thank you. Gophers, no socks. This is guys. No there's socks. not a lot of Jordans they in the world. This is what happens. Don't come after Connor. Sit back. You wearing? Go after Jordan. Don't come. I don't know what your name is, but it's nice to meet you. Get your little butt in that chair over there. If anything, I respect the real. Model, because that's Camille. Okay, that's sure. Uh, Camille, professional Camille model. we're with the same agency. Wait, it's good to see you. First of all, first of all, like some people are just basic models, and basic. You hear that, Jordan? Uh, you're basic. You're basic. Right now? You're basic. <laughs> basic. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. You're basic. And you come to New York, you you kind of be swimming in a, a big river. Okay, I don't I don't have any plans to come see you in New York, Camille. But thank you so this much. This is ridiculous. Like, come on, Camille, you're really gonna come at me? Jordan, I'm gonna give you the last word here. Literally, listen, okay, look, this is what, <laughs> I'm gonna get the last word. This is, this is fine, okay? Camille? What's up? <laughs> you. Oh, really? <laughs> you Jordan, you the came mustache. into The Bachelor of <laughs> you. an Instagram you follower. You, 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 David, bro. you're a you Nick and Connor, you're, you're cool. Grocery point. store Joe, what's up? Bro, my dog I'm done, that's it. that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Shut the up. Yeah, you too. All right.